Hi, Steve. Hello. So, um, we know events are back. Uh, we heard Rafat say that earlier. But we also know that there's still a lot of concern around safety issues. Um, in fact, there's some uh, study coming out that Event MB is putting out. I think it comes out in December. And that's one of the planner's biggest concerns. So, um, for instance, one of the biggest concerns is around food. So how is Hyatt addressing that issue um, so that people can still have enjoyable experiences around that? Hi, everybody. Hi. It's pretty exciting to sit here and look at a full room. Yes, it is. I say heck with social distancing. I like people <laughs> getting together and, and, and hanging out together. Um, Lori, we've spent a lot of time you know, trying to figure out what our reimagined meeting experience will be all about. And um, we conducted, I would guess, 500 interviews with planners to really understand what's important to them. And 95% of the people that we talked to told us the safety of their guests was the single most important thing for them. So as we put together by Hyatt um, as our program and how we're going to look at it, safety was one of the most important things. Sean, could you flip the next slide for me? And I'm sure very similar to many of our competitors, there are a lot of resources that are out there, and I encourage you to take advantage of all the resources. Um, we have a video that will walk you through what your event experience will be like in a Hyatt event when you go there. So what the meeting space is going to be like, what the food and beverage experience is going to be like, all of those things. I'm going to ask you to go back, please, one, Sean, if you wouldn't mind. Um, all of us have a brochure. And you have seen all of these brochures, and you have a pretty good idea of what the um, safety protocols are. But I would encourage you to send those to your attendees because they probably don't know what all of the experiences are going to be about. And I think that's really important that we share that information. At Hyatt, we've introduced a new position inside of our hotels. The young lady you see on the far side, she is a hygiene and well-being leader. And this person has been specifically trained in all of the protocols that need to take place to make sure that our hotels are sanitary. And their role is to continue to educate our colleagues. Um, all of us have seen all of the changes that take place in the very beginning to where we are now and all the changes that are taking place on an ongoing basis. We really believe that this well-being well and hygiene leader plays an important role in making sure our colleagues are up to date. As it comes to food and beverage, now, Sean, this is like back in school when you'd have the beep on the, uh, the, the projector and it'd go automatically to the next slide. Um, presentations have changed. You know, we're moving away from that big board where you had the whole charcuterie and you're seeing individual placements. You're seeing lots of little jars and little pieces that people can pick up and experience. Um, you're seeing um, plexiglass shields. You're seeing attendants that are helping with the buffet stations. So I think these kinds of changes are going to stay for an extended period of time. And I also think that it's important that we consider the type of food and beverage experiences that we want to have. I think a sit-down experience in some cases is the better thing to do right now so that you're not up walking around, masks off, eating and talking at the same time while you're with folks. So really think about the food and beverage experiences that you want to have. I would strongly encourage you to get the chefs involved early in your planning process and really understand what's happening at that hotel. And I would say the same thing about all the safety protocols. Really dig in early, understand what's happening, and stay on top of it all the way until your group arrives. And do you talk to um, the planners about how they can communicate that best to, to their attendees? Yeah, absolutely. Um, at our hotels, you'll receive what's a really clever name, know before you go. So we create a, a little document that we can send to each of the planners that they can send to their attendees that gives them the basics of what it's going to be like, how to get to the hotel, what's the weather like, the kinds of things that we'd always tell people, but then start to introduce to them the things that have changed. You know, many of us have had the opportunity to be in hotels and we've experienced what that different service is, but I don't think many of our guests have. They don't know the contactless experiences that are available to them at that point, what the safety protocols, and I think this event has done a really great job of, of explaining to us what we need to do to attend and, and what the rules of engagement are. You know, even in the best of circumstances, things change. And so sometimes planners are in a position where they have to cancel the live portion of, of an event, of a hybrid event. 
Can you help in those circumstances, and how so? Well, we don't want you to cancel. We want to find a way to get you to still be able to come to our hotel and have an event. We understand that not everyone is going to be able to attend, and Lori, what we've done is we've put together a, a program that makes it really easy for you to understand what the costs and what the equipment are, needs are for conducting a hybrid event. So if you were planning on 100 people and now you're only having 25, how can we make that 25 people still have a good experience and how can we engage the other 75 remotely? So I'm in the business of occupying beds and selling food and beverage. So we'll do everything that we can to help you execute an event, but our preference would be to keep some of the guests in the hotel. Of course, but your, your flexibility is key. Heck yeah, okay. heck yeah. So, um, maybe I'll go to the next slide and just talk a little bit about hybrid. Uh, we are very interested in hybrid and we think that it has a very important place in the future. Um, our belief is that hybrid is a great way to grow events and to get more people exposed to different events. We also think it's really inclusive. You know, you might have um, a, a special event with, with your kids that you can't go. You might be Miguel and you just had a new baby and you can't yeah. come. So your ability to continue to have that event and expand the reach is really important. Um, Courtney, you hit it on the head. You're planning two events and this is uncharted territory and it's really difficult to figure it out. Um, I have probably, I couldn't even imagine how many events I've done in my 33 years with Hyatt, but I will tell you I was scared blankless the first hybrid event that I did. I mean, it was really taxing to just sit there and say, I, I know what to do in a in, in, in person event, but just it's out of your control, it feels like. So we've gone to great efforts to provide materials. So we have training resource guides on technology, how to do hybrid events. We've hired two very specific teams of colleagues to help execute hybrid events. The, three really handsome people sitting up there. They're our hybrid event experts. So we, we've hired this team and their job is to partner with anyone that's going to do a hybrid event at any Hyatt hotel through the sales phase, through the planning phase, through the execution phase. Their role is to interface between the technology company, the, the AV company, help you with suggestions on how to do your agenda. So we really think that that resource will go a really long ways to help. We've also added another team. How many of you have had the Gremlin where your microphone works perfectly all morning and then you get to another <laughs> one and it doesn't work? Yeah, we've, we've had that too and what we heard from planners loud and clear is that they're scared when we get into the technology that we're going to lose the white glove service that you experience in a hotel. So we've added a team that we call the support squad and they're at one of in each of our regions around the world. They work out of our global care centers and they answer questions and concerns that attendees have when they can't get logged in. Okay. Um, you, you just mentioned something. Um, so I'd like to talk for a minute about how Hyatt is dealing with a problem that everybody's dealing with, which is a labor shortage. And I'm sure planners are feeling a little bit of stress around that as well, because they, they can't always predict what the on-site experience is going to be. So how is Hyatt working with planners to manage expectations and uh, communicate those expectations to their attendees? Yeah, the labor situation is um, really interesting and it, it varies by location. We have some locations that our staffing levels are, are back to what they were pre-pandemic. Gosh, I heard somebody say 47% of groups were uh, uh, short-staffed. I think Miguel said that. I think it's more like 75% are understaffed. So I think for us, it's a partnership with you and the audience um, to really understand what is and what is not possible. I think it's really moving the planning process further out. Um, you know, the, 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 the days of planning an event two weeks before it executes probably are gone, unless it's a really simple event. Asking all of the questions, dotting the I's and, and, and crossing the that was a good answer, I guess, huh? That was huh? good. That was good. <laughs> uh, but dotting the I's, crossing the T's, I think are really important. Um, we think that technology can, can play a real place in, in helping uh, service events moving forward. We have heard from our event planning uh, managers in the field. We hate Zoom and Teams. They are loving it because they feel like they're really getting to know you before you come, and it's not just a text or an email that's going back and forth. So that connection is really, really important. Um, 
our, our virtual tools, like our virtual um, hotel tour, is gives you an opportunity to see the space before you get there. Our planner portal, it's um, a repository for all the information about your group. You can run your own reports. And so that ability to just take one little thing off the staff, I think, goes a long way. So I, I'd say, you know, bottom line, plan further out, understand what the reality is. Your event is not going to be exactly the same as it was in 2019, and I think we all have to agree to that and decide what we can do and what we can execute well. And it's probably a good idea to be transparent with your attendees. 100%, and that's, that's where that know before you go really comes in, because face it, not just Hyatt, every brand, there may not be valet parking. There may only be one restaurant that's open. But how do you respond to that? What do you give to your attendees to say, there's only one restaurant open, but here are all the neighborhood restaurants that are open? Or you expand the market, or you introduce you know, delivery, things like that. There's always an answer. You just have to think through it and just don't pretend it's 2019 again. So a lot of what you've been saying is about managing stress. We, have all, we all have a little bit of PTSD right now. The last two years have been, you know, nothing if not stressful, particularly for this industry. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing at Hyatt to um, sort of look out for both a planner and attendee well-being? Um, next slide, please. Maybe two ahead. I'll, I'll pause there if you don't mind real quick. Back on hybrid real quick. We've partnered with Swapcard. Um, we did a lot of research and we're really proud of the relationship we have with them. We talked to a lot of companies. We think that they have a lot of the, the features and functionality that, that Courtney talked about. And we also want to provide education. So we've partnered with the Virtual Events Institute to provide a college level class to, or to planners if they're interested. So stop by the Hyatt booth. We can talk more about that if you're interested in that. Um, at Hyatt, our purpose is to care for people so they can be their best. And well-being has been core in what we do at Hyatt. Uh, again, I said that we interviewed so many meeting planners. I would tell you about 80% told us the well-being of their colleagues is very important to them, and now we want to start incorporating it. I mentioned um, our resource guides. We have one on technology. We have another one on well-being. Um, we will have a, anyone been to Miraval, one of our resorts in Arizona, Austin, Texas? It's pretty outstanding, right? It's all about mindfulness and taking care of yourself. We'll have a Miraval specialist um, in our Together by Hyatt booths. You can experience some of that, but we're really leaning into those kinds of experiences, and we have a whole guide that will teach you how to introduce well-being. We also are bringing one of our best chefs um, to the trade show to be able to talk about how you can incorporate healthy eating into it. I mentioned the know before you go. I think of leaving that at that anxiety is really important before the guests get there. One more slide, please, Sean. And then we have a menu, a feel, fuel, and function menu that's available at our hotels that give you ideas and suggestions on how you can impact how people feel, how they fuel themselves, and how they function inside of an event. And then I mentioned Miraval. We've created an entire library of exercises that you can incorporate into your agenda. So if you're looking for people to get focused, if you want them to get energized, if you want them to relax, recharge, great little four or five minute videos that you could incorporate coming back from a break, going into a break, um, getting fired up in the morning. We just really think that all of those things really go a long way. As it comes to caring for our planners, I think our tools are the key thing that's out there right now and taking advantage of those tools and the educational resources that we have available to help you as you, you re-enter this new world then mm -hmm. of events. Well, uh, thank you for this very informative You're conversation. Welcome.